Beloved, what does 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 mean? Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Various translations speak of rightly dividing or handling or explaining the word of truth. Let us firstly agree that the word of truth is the word of God, the Holy Bible to us in this present day, or the Torah to those who lived in first century Palestine. The question arises, what does this portion of scripture demand from us? How we handle or explain the word of truth matters and here the first part of the verse is instructive. Study to show thyself approved unto God. In order to handle or explain the word of truth, we need to study the word of truth. Not to please your own ego, not to please other people, but to please God. Our orientation in developing a knowledge of the word of truth should at all times be to please God and not to show off to others. If you do not study the word of truth, the second part of that verse becomes relevant. A workman that needeth not be ashamed. Again, ashamed before who? Before man or before God? If this realization does not breed humility, then I do not know what will. How we represent or misrepresent the word of truth determines the level of shame we will endure. Winning petty arguments over the word of truth will not save you from shame because ultimately you will have to explain to God how it is that you always knew it all. You do not need a university degree to appreciate or develop a working knowledge of the word of God. However, many fail to appreciate that in order to refine one's knowledge on any subject, one needs to test one's assumptions through a dialogical engagement with others, at a minimum. You need to constantly question your own understanding and exegesis or method of interpreting the word of truth. A dialogical engagement is not one where you come into dialogue all-knowing and with arrogance, but rather with humility, an open mind and preparedness to listen to another's point of view thus sharpening your own insights and knowledge of the word of truth. David says in Psalm 119, Your word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. He also says in Psalm 119, The teaching of your word gives light to even the simple so they can understand. Again, as you engage with others in a dialogue on the word of truth, remember the fruits of the Holy Spirit, which is, Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. If you lose self-control when discussing the word of truth with others, you do not bear the fruit of the Spirit. Stay blessed. Shabbat Shalom.